I never really sit down to make music. I, I sit down to play with music. There's no shame in working on something for two hours and it doesn't come to anything. I've got a computer here full of tracks that have never came to anything and probably won't ever come to anything. But out of, you know, 50 ideas that sound great, you might have one idea that sounds amazing. And there is no shame in that. It's all about enjoying being creative. Every artist has a pile of stuff that they worked on and never finished. Yeah. And that's just part of the process of uh, planting yeah. seeds that results in the one thing that we finish. That would be like an artist that doesn't have a, a, a scrapbook. You don't just click your fingers and all of a sudden you've got a new track. Right. You know, you don't want to make average music after average music all the time. You want it to mean something and feel something. For me, <laughs> annoyingly, it comes most of the time when I'm at work uh, and I listen to music all day long, um, streaming off Spotify, SoundCloud or whatever, listening to other people's mixes. Um, and I can be halfway through my day at work and I hear something in a track and instantly I'm like, wow. So my phone is full of reminders and screenshots of things that inspire me. So now and again, when I do sit down and I am in the mood, I can go through all of these things and half of the time, I look back at them and I'm thinking, what was I thinking? <laughs> yeah, which just goes to prove that it is about being in the moment. The smallest of things can inspire me. Uh, and I'm, uh, I'd, I'd say that's the same for everybody. Would you agree? Yeah, I've actually put up some videos on 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 social media where I've become fascinated with the sound of something, like a car door slamming in a garage, or something <laughs> exactly like that. The same as me. I'm forever getting my phone out and recording stupid, stupid shit. But I. I um, had an idea from something and in my track Blue Planet which is on Anjuna Deep uh -huh. um, I got a recording of someone hitting a cue ball it rebounding off another ball and going in the pockets and if cool. you hear that if you if you listen to it you'll hear it and you'll never be able to hear the track again <laughs> the same once I was recording a an idea I had in a coffee shop, this super noisy coffee shop so I was just on my like m my earphones trying to block out the noise of the coffee shop so I could sing a melody. And <laughs> while I was singing this melody, somebody threw a coin into a plastic bucket in the mm -hmm. background. The melody I was singing, I don't even remember what it was. It, it wasn't helpful later on. But when I went back to that recording, I heard the sound of a coin landing in this plastic bucket and it was the coolest percussion sound. And I think I've now used that on two different tracks. For me, that's the way to escape from, from samples, from like, yeah. libraries of samples and pre-recorded sounds i want things yeah. that are like raw and original yeah one more random thing yeah i pick an accent that you have to say a sentence in and then you pick an accent that i've got to say a sentence in um i'm going to ask you a question as well so you have to a answer the question in the accent okay oh this is going to be <laughs> terrible all right i'm ready <laughs> what is your favorite drink in Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> just it's not being recorded or anything, so just <laughs> um my uh, <laughs> uh my f my favorite drink is a margarita. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what would I ask you? Uh, what's your favorite food in a French accent? Oh, well, my favorite food is uh, <laughs> la steak. <laughs> is what? Uh, the steak, a fillet steak. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> fillet. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Well, we're even now. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for effort. <laughs>